Now, Lagos over the weekend announced further ease of restrictions on places of worship. According to the governor, churches and mosques can perform daily prayers and midweek services. In a tweet, Governor Somulu says that we are happy about the downward trend in reported cases of COVID-19 and we urge Lagosians to continue to follow all the safety protocols. We have joining us in Lagos studio a public health physician, Dr. Jafet Ulubogi. Thank you for joining us on the program. It's my pleasure, always. So we've heard the latest announcement by the governor of Lagos State. Um, first, are you happy with the announcement? Do you think, do you agree, uh, based on scientific data, based on the daily count that Lagos State is recording, albeit recording the highest of most of the cases that we're seeing in the last couple of days, um, are we indeed seeing a downward trend in reported cases? Well, if you go by the um, data that we have, yes, uh, there's a downward trend, but the data itself is not um, uh, sufficient to uh, base our judgments, uh, considering the fact that uh, we are not testing enough. Uh, a lot of people who are out there having the virus uh, but not uh, subjecting themselves to uh, test. Uh, so uh, if we could have a, a better uh, data, a more reliable data, uh, it should have been you know, sufficient enough to base our judgments on that. But the data we have, uh, albeit correct uh, from the standpoint of the NCDC, uh, it's not uh, reliable enough to base our judgments on, uh, given the fact that uh, it is not a true picture uh, of things. So do we proceed yeah. with the further ease of restrictions, like churches? Well, we should, have, uh, we should have tarried a little uh, with uh, the further ease of uh, uh, um, uh, the lockdown, of the total lockdown. Uh, we should have tarried to open the churches fully, to uh, open the schools fully, uh, to open the uh, nightclubs uh, fully. Uh, this is uh, because of the fact that uh, the airports are open now. And uh, who knows what might come in. Uh, we have other countries uh, that are having a second wave of the uh, disease, uh, of the virus, and um, uh, they have a different strain over there uh, in some of these countries than we have here. So we can't say that uh, for one reason or the other, we are you know, keeping tabs on the virus here. But what happens when we have another strain coming to the country uh, that is different uh, or deadlier than uh, the strains uh, that we have here? But let's so, not forget that Lagos State is priding itself with, in terms of testing, having over 57 sample collection sites than other states in, in the country. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lagos State is uh, ahead of others uh, in terms of uh, testing centers and capacity and also logistics and all that. Uh, but then again, uh, if you remember about uh, four weeks ago, uh, the figures actually came down almost to uh, a single digit. Uh, and then again, when the 57 centers were reopened again, I managed one of those centers. Uh, when the 57 centers were reopened again and people started coming in in ones, in twos, the figures started going up again. If you study the trend, you would agree with me that the figures started going up again. There was a time we had 47 uh, in the whole country, and now uh, we are having even more uh, in Lagos. And, uh, so uh, if people test, we would see more positive cases. We've tested uh, almost uh, uh, 480,000 so far, and we have about 57,000 plus, and that's one in eight. Uh, if we consider uh, testing more, we probably will get more, albeit uh, asymptomatic cases, but there are still cases out there. Are you confident with the capacity of the state government to monitor compliance as schools reopen and several other activities? I am not, and that's because uh, there are usually no enough staff to do all that. There's several schools in Lagos, several schools, several schools, even in one community, in one ward of Lagos. So how many of them can we monitor? And then if we think that uh, these schools or these churches or mosques will follow the protocols uh, uh, duly, uh, I, I'm not sure we are, we are getting it right. So they may not follow the protocols duly. If they can't follow the protocols, the preventive measures, the social preventive measures, yes, we can say that, yeah, maybe, uh, we can just uh, nip it in the world. Let's not forget that some of the uh, uh, improvements that we have in terms of the burden of the disease may not be unconnected to the fact that a lot more people started wearing their masks, a lot more people started wear, uh, washing their hands. We can argue that not so many people are you know, wearing their masks, but a number of people are uh, wearing their masks, and that would definitely uh, have a negative uh, effect on the spread of the virus. All right. We'd like to appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Dr. Jaffa Dalibogi, Public Thank Health Physician. Thank you for Thank you for joining us.
Thank you.